Hello and welcome to Lidl Moves for 20 by 20 Intermediate Yoga. My name is Sharon O'Connor and I'm really excited to take you through this 20 minute practice. So to kick off, uh, I want to take you through, just remind you of your props. We have lovely props here to support our practice. Um, so your, your two cushions or pillows um, we can use in our twists and I'm actually going to sit on one now just to raise up my hips a little bit. Um, you have your stack of books which is my block. So you can remove books according to what height works best for you. And then lastly, uh, you have your blanket. Um, if at any point you feel sensitivity in your knees, you can just drape the blanket across the middle of your mat and use it as a cushion for your knees. So, let's settle into the space. You're probably in a space that's used for a few other things, but for the next 20 minutes, it's just for you. So taking a comfortable seat, it can be Sukhasana, like what I'm in, cross-legged, or you can sit up on your shins, whatever works for you. We're gently going to close our eyes, placing your palms facing upwards or downwards on your knees or on your thighs, and just starting to settle and notice your breath. Focusing your attention on your nostrils. As you inhale, feel the cool air coming in, and as you exhale, slightly warmer, air coming out. Continuing this focus, just noticing your own breath. Thinking about the last thing you did for yourself. The last action you took that was only for you. It could be coming to your mat today for these 20 minutes. Noticing how you feel when you care for yourself, when you do something just for you. Is it energizing? Is it a warm feeling? Does it make you smile? Bringing that fe feeling into our practice today, onto our mats. That feeling of energy, that feeling of self-care. Gently opening your eyes. Raising both of your arms up to shoulder height. Energy all the way to your fingertips. We're going to have as much of our bodies involved in our practice as possible today. And so when we reach forward, our shoulders tend to come with us in our upper back. So let's realign. So we have a nice, long, strong spine. We have a straight line here with our shoulders and our hips. Energy to those fingertips, palms facing each other, core slightly engaged. On an inhale, raise your shoulders right up to your ears. And as you exhale, try and get your shoulder blades all the way down to your sit bones. So really large circles, a full breath cycle, inhaling up and exhaling down. Engaging your core, feeling your sit bones in this space. This is like a self massage. It's like we're massaging our shoulders here. After your next circle, gently lowering both of your palms down. Having your books beside you here, beside your right hip. And we'll start maybe at, maybe start with all of them stacked. And in such a way that your right palm can easily reach the books. So you don't have to lean. On an inhale, raising your arms up to frame your face, consciously lowering those shoulder blades. So maybe that means more width, like more space between your palms. On your next inhale, lowering your right palm down to your books and then leaning over towards that palm, using it to stabilize. Sit bones are rooted. Your left sit bone now might want to come up, but we're gonna keep the left sit bone grounded. We're gonna feel this stretch coming right out of our hips. At this point, maybe you want to go to a lower setting on your books, or maybe you don't need them. Looking up at that forearm, starting a lightning bolt movement here. On an inhale, bending the elbow. On an exhale, lengthening. Twice more, inhaling to bend, exhaling to lengthen. 
Inhaling to bend, core engaged, exhaling to lengthen. And then inhaling to come right back up to center and gently exhaling our hands down. Moving your books to the other side and placing them beside your left hip. Inhaling your arms up to frame your face. Exhaling your left palm down to find your books. On your next inhale, leaning over, using that palm to, palm to stabilize you. Looking up at that forearm. Maybe at this point you remove your books or you lessen the stack. Coming into our lightning bolt movement, inhaling to flex and exhaling to lengthen. We're gonna do this three times. Inhaling to flex and then exhaling to lengthen and then inhaling your arms back up to frame your face. Exhaling down. We're very gently gonna make our way onto all fours now. So removing any of the props that are in your way, but making sure your books are at the top of your mat, the short edge of your mat at the top. Positioning your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. So we have a nice strong foundation here for our cat cow. So on an inhale, you're going to arch your back and look up. And then on your exhale, you're gonna round your spine and tuck your chin. And just continue this motion with your own breath. I love cat cow. It is the definition of motion is lotion. You wanna involve as many of your vertebrae as possible in this movement. Now we're gonna come into our first balasana, which is child's pose. So toes touching, knees as wide as the mat, walk those palms forward and we're going to make this an energized child's pose so you don't want your elbows to hit the mat you want to keep your elbows off of the mat feel all your fingertips your knuckles the pads of your fingers on your mat as you inhale lengthening your spine and as you exhale encouraging your sit bones towards your heels lowering your forehead to the mat we're going to take three nice deep nourishing breaths here inhaling and exhaling Inhaling to lengthen and exhaling your sit bones towards your heels. Last time, inhaling and exhaling. Now tucking your toes, led by your hips, we're gonna come into our first downward facing dog. Pedaling those feet out, introducing this pose to your body. The next time you're rolling over onto your left foot. So you're gonna roll over the toes and onto the top of the foot and just tap the knee off of the mat and come back to your downward facing dog. Now we're gonna do the same on the right side, rolling over onto the top of that foot, tapping the knee, and then coming all the way back into our downward facing dog. So another breath here in your downward facing dog, encouraging your hips towards the ceiling and your heels towards the earth. Looking at your palms, we're gonna take a nice, long, slow walk up to the top of our mat. When you get to the top of your mat, grab opposite elbows, keep a nice bend in the knees, and just sway from side to side, not holding any tension in your neck. Swapping the cross of those elbows, continuing to sway from side to side. Coming to stillness here. Your books should be a few inches in front of your feet here. We're going to plant our left palm on our books. So you can choose a setting, always best to start with the highest setting. Now you're going to lengthen your, your right leg and bend your left knee. So lengthen, not lock. That's the key thing here. Lengthening, not locking. So you should be feeling this in your right hamstring. On your next inhale, you're gonna sweep your right palm up high to the sky and look up at that palm. We're just gonna take a breath here. It's a nice twist. It's a nice hamstring opener. Then sweeping that palm all the way down, placing it where your left one was, lengthening your left leg, bending your right knee. Again, lengthening, not locking, and then inhaling your left palm up high to the sky and looking up at that palm. And gently sweeping that palm all the way back down and letting your head hang heavy. Now with a nice bend in your knees, really, really slowly, 
we're going to roll on up to standing imagining every single vertebrae involved in this motion and then your head is the very last thing to come up and when you do reach standing just rolling your shoulders back nice and gently on an inhale you're going to raise your arms out and up high to the sky Urdhva Hastasana exhaling out and down Uttanasana forward fold inhaling palms to shins looking forward flat back exhaling palms down and bring your right foot back coming onto the ball of that foot lowering your knee down and untucking your toes if you have any sensitivity in your knees now grabbing your blanket and placing it under on your next inhale raising your arms up energy all the way to your fingertips Anjanayasana crescent lunge glancing down at your front knee making sure it's still tracking over your second toe that it hasn't veered inwards or outwards your core is engaged strong strong body strong spine feeling this gorgeous opening in your right hip on your next inhale you're going to lower your right sit bone towards your right heel while you bring both of your palms all the way down and you flex your left heel so you can grab your books and half your stacks here you can have your hands hover or you can place your palms on the mat and then we're going to inhale all the way back up to our Anjanayasana we're going to do that twice more so hinging and aligning this motion flexing your left heel and then inhaling all the way back up to our lunge one more time hinging and coming all the way back encouraging that right sit bone towards your heel and then all the way back up to our Anjanayasana palms down to frame your front foot coming onto the ball of your back foot and stepping back to your downward facing dog maybe taking a small bit of a pedal out here on an inhale raising your right foot high to the sky three-legged dog exhaling the foot between your hands looking forward on your next inhale your left foot will join it at the top of the mat you're in Uttanasana forward fold inhaling your arms out and up high prayer exhaling prayer to your heart center taking a breath here inhaling your arms out and up exhaling out and down Uttanasana inhaling to your flat back exhaling palms down left foot back lower the knee on top the toes inhaling up to your Anjanayasana crescent moon lunge glancing at that front knee just to make sure it's behaving itself on your next inhale hinging all the way back flexing that right foot maybe this side is completely different maybe you don't hover the hands maybe the hands reach down maybe you need your stacks of books here coming all the way back up nice and slowly nice and controlled core is engaged all the way back again encouraging the left sit bone towards your left heel flexing the right foot last time nice and slowly acknowledging the difference in one side of our body to the other as I said we're very unique planting both of your hands down untucking your back toes raising your knee up and bringing your right foot back to join your left in downward facing dog one breath here inhaling that left foot high to the sky exhaling the foot between your hands and looking forward on your next inhale right foot joins your left at the top of the mat Uttanasana inhaling your arms out and up high prayer exhaling prayer to your heart center pausing here inhaling your arms out and up exhaling out and down Uttanasana inhaling to your flat back exhaling palms down right foot back this time we're not going to lower the knee we're going to come straight up into our high lunge so right up Ooh. owning the wobbles by the way own your wobbles so taking a second to settle here 
Let's decide this is comfortable. So maybe you break into a smile. On your next inhale, lengthening that front leg. Exhaling to rebend. Your core is engaged here. Twice more. Inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling to rebend. Owning the wobbles, as I said. Inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling to rebend. On your next inhale, palms down to frame your front foot. Kicking back to your three legged dog. Gently lowering that foot back down to the mat. Maybe taking a little pedal out of your feet here before you come into Balasana. Knees as wide as the mat, toes touching, sit bones towards your heels. And as I said, a nice engaged Balasana. So we're going to leave our elbows off of the mat here. Lowering your head down. Taking three nice deep breaths here. On your next inhale, tucking those toes, led by those hips, coming back up into your downward facing dog. On your inhale, raising your right foot high to the sky, exhaling that foot between your hands, looking forward. Left foot joins it at the top of the mat in Uttanasana. Inhaling out and up, high prayer. Exhaling down to your heart center. Pausing here, checking in with your body. How are you feeling? Inhaling your arms out and up. Exhaling out and down. Inhaling to your flat back. Exhaling palms down, left foot back. Pausing here and then inhaling straight up into your high lunge. Again, getting comfortable here. Comfortable is a subjective term, I know, but let's go with it. As you inhale, lengthening that front leg. Exhaling to rebend, really controlled movement here. Core is engaged. Inhaling to lengthen. Exhaling to rebend. Last time. Palms down to frame your front foot. Kicking back into three legged dog and then slowly lowering down into your downward facing dog. Lowering your knees as wide as your mat, toes touching, child's pose. Walking those hands back, gently swinging your legs out in front of you, we're going to make our way onto our backs. When you arrive, placing your soles on the mat, the outer edge of your foot at the outer edge of the mat, and just starting a gentle windshield wiper motion from side to side. We're talking mist here now, not torrential rain. So it's a really slow windshield wiper. Maybe placing your fingertips on your hip points. Coming to stillness, hogging your knees into your chest. Maybe raising your shoulder blades off of the mat. Maybe touching your nose or your chin off of your knees. And then gently lowering yourself back down. And one foot at a time, just elongating yourself out on the mat allowing your feet to fall out to each side, allowing your palms to face upwards alongside your body, just turning to settle yourself into your Shavasana. Gently closing your eyes, checking back in with that breath. The gentle cold air coming in and the warmer air as you exhale. Start to track all the points of your body that are supported by the earth in your Shavasana. Starting at your heels, moving all the way up your legs, acknowledging the backs of your knees hovering maybe, coming all the way up to your thighs, to your buttocks, your sacrum, spinning around to your hip points, Coming up to your core, 
feeling your lower back on the mat, supported by the earth. Move the, moving all the way up to your shoulder blades. Allowing yourself to be supported with every inhale acknowledging that support and with every exhale sinking into your mat moving to your knuckles and your hands feeling your knuckles and maybe the tops of your hands supported moving up to your arms your elbows your upper arms and again coming all the way up to your shoulders moving your focus up to your neck supported by your head and your shoulders coming all the way back around to your crown the crown of your head supported by the earth allowing this support Gently start to notice your breath again. Introduce some movement into your fingertips and your toes. Keeping your eyes closed. At your own pace, roll over to your right side, using your forearm as a pillow for your head. Use your left palm to help you come up to a comfortable seated position, keeping your eyes closed. Closing our practice today, thanking ourselves for taking the time, thanking ourselves for doing this thing for ourselves for taking these 20 minutes. Joining your hands together at heart center. Namaste.